Hey, how are you? It's Eric with Chicago Fly House. What we're going to look at today is terminations in cable. We use cable all the time in the entertainment industry, so we thought it'd be really interesting to look at the different terminations that we use and see how they break, see if they're really rated for what they're rated for. So the ones we're going to look at today are compression sleeves, cable clips, wire rope glides, gripples, and even circus hitches, and I know a lot of you are ready for that one. So the first one we're going to look at are compression sleeves. We commonly call them Nycopress sleeves because it's one of the manufacturers. There's two good manufacturers out there, Nycopress and Locolock, and a lot of people think they're interchangeable. The real term is actually compression sleeves. So the great thing about compression sleeves is that with those you get 100% of the rating of the cable. In fact, sometimes you get a little bit more than the catalog strength of the cable, which is really nice. So we're able to get full efficiency out of those terminations. And that's going to be our control. That's the first one we're going to break so that we actually see what it's rated at for a connection that's rated for 100% of the cable strength. The next one we're going to look at are cable clips. Now cable clips are really nice because they're adjustable, they're reusable. You know, it's not a one-time shopping thing. You can use them over and over. The bad thing about cable clips is that they're not always put on the right way. There's a lot of ways to mess them up. In fact, I think that's a whole other video that we'll do sometime. The other thing to know about cable clips is that they're only rated for 80% of the cable strength. So your working load limit is a little bit lower compared to the compression sleeves. So the next one we're going to look at are wire rope glides. Wire rope glides are fantastic for stuff like hanging signs at a convention center, hanging uh, small projection screens, hanging small scenery even. The thing about them though is that the manufacturer realizes that the product itself does damage the cable after a certain load. So they base their uh, strength only on half the strength of the cable. So eighth inch is rated for 2,000 pounds, right? Well, we can only base this hardware off of 1,000 pounds, so we lose half of the strength of the wire rope. It's also designed off a of 5 to 1 design factor. So our design factor allows us to only put 200 pounds on this piece of hardware. So we're basing that on that 5 to 1. So never put more than that 200 pounds on these particular pieces of hardware that we're using here. These are actually grip locks. Um, they're a great company and they put out some really great stuff. You're going to want to look at your manufacturer and make sure that you have the same design factor, but they're all pretty much in that range. We're also going to look at gripples. Now gripples are really, really interesting. We're going to look at two sizes of gripples. Okay? The thing about gripples is that we're breaking 8th inch cable. Gripples are not designed for 7 by 19 galvanized aircraft cable at that size. Sizes 1, 2, and 3 in their catalog are actually only rated for 7 by 7 and 1 by 19 wire rope. So we're going to have to just show you how they break, but I'm not going to give you numbers because the stuff that we're using is actually not rated for these gripples. So it's something that I really want you to be aware of because I see these in theaters all the time. People like them because they're a fast connection, um, but we have to make sure that we're using the right stuff. If you do happen to use 3 16 or quarter inch gripples, those are actually rated for 7 by 19 cables, so you should be good to go as long as you stay within the manufacturer's specifications. But for these, I'm not going to tell you the numbers, sorry. Now the last one we're going to look at is a circus hitch. Now I used to work at Flying By four years ago and I knew Peter Foy and Peter Foy hated it when we called it a Foy knot. So in his honor and out of respect to Peter, we're going to call it a circus hitch. It's really what it's really known as. The one thing to know about circus hitch is that you don't want to use them for anything permanent, right? These are things that are just temporary. If you need to tie something off really quick and it's not very heavy, it's a great, it's a great knot to use. This is not something that you'd want to use to actually suspend people, hang anything overhead, anything like that. This is something if you need to tie something off just temporarily before you can make your permanent connection, things like that. But it is used and it is something that we do want to talk about and make sure that people are doing it right. So we put everything through the brake-o-matic, we've broken everything and here's what we've come up with. Now there weren't many surprises here, right? Uh, the compression sleeve broke over 2,000 pounds. That's exactly what we would have hoped for. The uh, cable clips broke at around 1,800 to 2,000 pounds. So we had a little reduction in the working load limit of the cable or the breaking strength of the cable, sorry. But it did exactly what it was supposed to do. It held exactly and did what it was supposed to do. Um, the wire rope glides also behaved in the way that I would expect them to behave. We did not get the full efficiency of the cable. We broke it around 13, 1400 pounds, I think. And uh, what we notice is that it actually breaks inside the unit. The little balls that are inside there, they constrict the cable and they break it. And that's why the manufacturers have the rating that they do, because they know that it does that damage to the cable at a certain point. The gripples, again, I'm not going to tell you where they broke, but they broke. They, um, they actually held up pretty well, but I'm not going to give you any more information than that. Sorry. Um, the last one might surprise some of you, right? The uh, circus hitch. What was really interesting is that it broke at, I think, 14, 1,500 pounds, depending on which one we looked at. And where it breaks is right here at the apex of the, uh, the uh, clove hitch that we tie in it, okay? Um, so these are actually really secure if you tie them the right way. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. I hope it was fun. It's always fun breaking stuff. Leave some comments for us. Tell us what you'd like to see in the future. We'll try to get them done for you. Thanks a lot.